Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today is the first day of the mass action in this country. Up to now, it's already 12.30, but Raila Odinga is not on the street. But we know very well there are Kenyans who are already on the street demonstrating. To some extent, in some areas, there's no one on the street and at all there's no business. I don't know how to understand the meaning of mass action. Because for Azmio and Kenyans at large, it means bringing everything to a stand still. No vehicle is moving, no one is moving, and no business is going on. It is not business as usual. That's the meaning of mass action. And indeed, that's exactly what is, is happening in this country. First of all, I have seen some of the UDA uh, paid or hired goons in uh, Mombasa. Because we know UDA supporters, they are also crying of hunger. They cannot go to the street to counter the demonstrators. So these are hired, paid goons by people like uh, Muhammad Ali and the rest. They are trying to counter the Azmio protest in uh, uh, Mombasa. But we have seen police officers coming to stop them to some extent. Tear gas. There are some videos we can't share here because now YouTube has become so much sensitive in some of these um, issues but the truth is that they are in Mombasa and uh, you can see they are already in UDA uniform and once people are already in uniform it should tell you a lot that organizing these people to bring to the street it confirms one thing that for Ruto to have demonstrators, demonstrators on, on the street they have to be paid so we have hired demonstrators and the organic one who just know the reason why they are on the road. <laughs> now, beside this, we have seen also police officers in Madare being engaged in a stone throwing exercise with the common Manainj who is also demonstrating then you wonder, are they running out of tear gas or what is happening? It's too early to start throwing stone. So this is the real situation also in Madare as far as the issue of uh, protest is concerned. Apart from business shutting down and people engaging in demonstrations, the truth is that also most of the schools especially those who are in town and the major market areas, they have closed. There's no one going to school. I think Machoko also said the same. <laughs> so as, we, as we're speaking now, children are at home. But surprisingly, those who discovered that uh, the, the situation in school is not favorable and the risks, some teachers decided to allow the kid to go back home at 9, 10. And when the kids were leaving school, they were already demonstrating. So look at that. They are on the road, but they are saying hakiyetu. So the, even children, young children, know why people are on the street. And they want even to be part of the people who are demonstrating. So if Ruto is saying that he want to come and counter those who are demonstrating with a, those kind of... Um, uh, we have seen weapons they are, they are having today. So does he mean that he's going to attack even the small kids in school? Or what does he mean? Because even children are feeling the hunger... They know why the people are on the street and they are also part of this demonstration. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you check on the 
effect of protest in this country is huge. They are pretending, but it is huge. I'm telling you. Even if there will be no tear gas or destruction like what they organized yesterday, uh, in the previous uh, protest, still the damage is huge. If you check in Nairobi, from Westlands to CBD, to Harper Hill, to Eastlands, the streets are empty. No traffic at all. It tells you that there is no business going on in this country. No business at all. So I don't know the... I don't know what rule to understand by stopping mass action and managing demonstrations vis-a-vis uh, -vis governance. Because stopping mass action or having no one on the street doesn't mean that you have succeeded on the mass action. In fact, you are just falling into Raila Odinga's trap. Because when there is no one on the street, it means there is no business going on. We need, you know, it's not all about these crowds. We need business to open. Because in as much as there is no one on the street, the operations of business is closed. No operation in terms of business is going on. No government services going on. There is totally nothing. So what, the, what does this one tell you? Between William Ruto and Raila, in their push, one pushing to overtax Kenyans, another one pushing to have favorable taxes for Kenyans. Who is succeeding? Who is succeeding? The one who needs to govern is failing because then how do you collect tax when there's no one running operations? A government is run on taxes. They collect every day. Mudavadi was able to quote figures close to billions of shillings they are losing in every single day we have mass action. This time they should be prepared to lose billions of shillings for the next three days in terms of tax collection. So if you also go, you check on Kisi, which was uh, leading as the mother of all demonstrations the other time. Today we are seeing boys on the road playing football. That means there is no business going on in Kisi. Everything is at standstill. So this is the entire situation in this country. And this is just trying to show exactly what is happening across the country. So, literally, there is nothing going on. There is no operations. As Raila Odinga said, mass action Wednesday, mass action Thursday, mass action Friday. Indeed, we have one of the longest weekend. This week is going into history. And yet, we have a weekend. Ile ndefu, ata wafanikazi wa serikali sa hizu wanasherekea. Wanajua wako weekend. Because you can't risk going to jump without knowing if you return home safely. And even there is no willing manager or um, whoever be a senior staff who would want to risk his staff. So, wanaambia watu kaeni nyumbani, atujui bila hali itakua. So, this is the current situation we are in now. We don't know if Raila will be on the street. We don't know if Azimia leaders will be on the street. But what we are learning is that uh, one of the close uh, bodyguard trailer Molo Dinga he has been uh, abducted. So we don't know where he is as of now and he was on his way to duty. So they are very desperate, trying to use desperate means. Of course about Babu we know Gaucho being arrested here and there. We know all this is meant just to be drama. But again something about the UDA counter protest. Hmm. I'm asking one question. If Kenyans are demonstrating, then you organize goods to go and counter demonstration in the name of demonstrating in UDA uniform. Tell me, in which way are you helping to calm the situation so that operations can continue as usual? If you have the most clueless leader today, it is the man in the state house. Maybe he's taking advice from his advisor, Gashagwa. So, Gashagwa and your the advisor to the president. 
Yeye ndiye advice yake. Anamwambia tuma watu wengine huko wale mngiki wao ni wametengeneza. Tuma watu wengine huko waende wapiga wale watu viboko. Uwapige ma uwapige tie gas. Alafu tutakuwa tumemaliza maandamano. I mean, Ruto has failed to raise to his standard. As a president, so who is losing? And who is supposed to collect taxes? And who is supposed to govern those taxes? In which, how is he gaining in this mass action? Really, I, how is Ruto gaining in this mass action by unleashing goons to go to the street to counter Azimio mass action? And by the way, this is not Azimio mass action. These are, it is not Raila Odinga. People are getting it wrong. It is not Raila. These are Kenyans who have a reason to be on the street to demonstrate. So the people that Ruto is sending goons to go and counter ni watu wenye wakona nja. The hungry Kenyans, the orphans, the widows, the mamamboga, the border border, the old, you know, the elders in society, the hungry. How and wako watu wako kwa street? Na wafani kata pia wasarekali. Ata minuli class wako nja. Because of all this, we don't see Ruto winning this war by unleashing goons unless if we he want to turn Kenya into a banana republic. So with all what we are seeing, we are seeing what Azimio is leading is indeed happening. If you talk about mass action today, we can say it is success. It has succeeded. It has succeeded. Because even UDA is helping to demonstrate. But we know what they are doing also. In one way, they want police to tear gas them. And then because they were tear gassed, they found a reason to shoot a live bullet on uh, the Kenyans who are organically just pushed by their problems to be on the street demonstrating. Sasa wanataka watafuta kisingizio ya kupiga wa Kenya masisas. Pesa zengena ni hizo. With all this, we are saying that mass action is still continuing.